um, ale bread. Um, so with uh, wheat and uh, wheat flour and beer and uh, a little butter and water and salt. And we actually made cheese. So this is actually cheese from yesterday. And hanging over there on the window is cheese that we made this morning. So it's still in its very cleverly named cheese cloth. Uh, we were letting it drip out as long as we can because we're trying to get all the whey out of it um, because that's going to ensure that it lasts a little bit longer. But it's a real soft cheese. If you live in Tidewater, Virginia, um, you're not real good at hard cheeses just because our weather isn't good for it. You know, there's too many warm days. Even today is not really a really hard, cold day that would be good for like a hard cheddar or something. Um, this is some of the fresh butter that we churned this morning. Um, and this is more of a dish that you might see the enslaved people on the farm eating. So my friend Julie... Um, um, fried up some local fish um, and she actually grated a bit of ginger and some red peppers on it um, and she has it sitting over some collards or some greens um, this is an apple pie that I made a little bit earlier today and you can tell we've been busy because we haven't dug into it yet and gotten any of it so um, that's a nice apple pie and then this is something that um, my friend made here yesterday and it's called Kush and it's another meal that you might see an enslaved person eating so it's some couple of day old cornbread with some wild onions and um, some collards and some pig's feet or trotters that he seared um, to go with it so there's a lot of dishes that you'll see on a Tidewater Virginia farm that just might be what the enslaved people are eating or just might be what the white farmers eating and some that are that are both um, and usually by midday you're finished cooking. It doesn't mean you're finished eating and it doesn't mean you're finished working You're just done cooking for the day So dinner is your big meal of the day and dinner is going to be back in that relatively cool clean house So once you've cooked um, There's nothing to do with the food except to eat it So you're just going to keep eating it till it's gone So if you don't like dinner or big jug is you will not like supper because uh, that's going to be the, the same meal And in fact, we're getting a food safe built for our kitchen and a food safe in the 18th century is a little bit like a pie safe of the 19th So this is fried celery, um, which is pretty much what it sounds like. It's actually the hearts of um, the celery plant and uh, We fried them in a spider pan. So a spider pan, I guess we washed it But it's like a frying pan that you would see today that has except it has the nice long legs on it and That way you can get the hot coals underneath of it um, So we fried that in a little bit of our fresh butter even though the recipe did call for lard But we couldn't resist using some of that fresh butter mm -hmm. um, and then my co-worker Terry made some oyster loaves which might not sound very good, but they're actually delicious. Delicious if you picture like an oyster stuffing or dressing, um, and you take out the breadcrumbs in the little penny loaves that you've baked, um, and kind of stew them with the oysters and butter and onions. And we actually added sausage since we had fresh sausage today um, in one of those spider pans, and then you put it back into the little loaf, and then you bake it. So it's actually really, really quite tasty. So pig knuckle in there. There is a pig's tail. You can see there is a pig's ear. It's actually really tender now, but you can see it in there. Good for flavoring. There is uh, turnip, turnip greens, um, carrots, onions, and celery. We had a little celery left over from our fried celery. And what's it? So called? we use that. And this is called hodgepodge. Is that what the enslaved people would think? Nope. This is um, um, a dish that you would probably see. I mean, an enslaved person probably would have access to all of those foods, save some of the herbs um, or spices. But, um, yeah, we kind of picture that um, only enslaved people eat some of the less desirable cuts of pork, and that is true on some level. But uh, we always joke that in Virginia they eat everything on the pig but the squeal. So, really, all of it gets used um, for the most part, even things that nobody wants to eat. Um, we actually did some pickling, not today, but the other day, and this is a, just an earthenware jar, and I think that they were pickling onions, so they actually boiled some vinegar and some spices, poured it over the onions, 